Welcome back. Today, we're diving into understanding volume using unit cubes. Let's get started. First, let's talk about what volume actually means. Volume is the amount of space a three-dimensional object takes up. We measure volume in cubic units, like cubic inches, cubic centimeters, or just cubic units when no specific measurement is given. A unit cube is a cube with side lengths of one unit. That means it's one unit tall, one unit wide, and one unit deep. It takes up exactly one cubic unit of space. Now, let's look at a simple example. Imagine a rectangular prism that's two units high, two units wide, and four units long. To determine how many unit cubes fill this prism, we can start by counting the number of cubes in a single layer. Then we multiply that by the number of layers needed to fill the entire prism. In this case, there are eight unit cubes in each layer, and there are two layers, giving a total of 16 unit cubes. Therefore, the volume of the prism is 16 cubic units. Another method is to multiply the three dimensions of the prism directly. Two times two times four equals 16 cubic units. So it takes 16 unit cubes to completely fill the prism with no gaps or overlaps. Here's another example, this time using inches. A rectangular prism has dimensions two inches by three inches by four inches, and we're filling it with unit cubes that each have a volume of one cubic inch. To find how many cubes we need, we multiply two times three times four equals 24 cubic inches. So we'll need 24 unit cubes, each one cubic inch in volume to fill the prism completely. So remember, volume is the space an object takes up, measured in cubic units. A unit cube has a volume of one cubic unit. The volume of a 3D shape is the number of unit cubes that can fit inside it with no gaps or overlaps. To find the volume of a rectangular prism, just multiply the length, width, and height. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious and stay fresh.